Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and I am here today with lesson number 35 on using your Raspberry Pi microcontroller. In the first 30 or so lessons, we really learned how to run the computer from the Linux command line from the terminal window so that you're probably pretty familiar here with Linux. What we showed more recently is you actually can boot the Raspberry Pi in a graphical user interface. And so now that we know Linux, now that we know how to operate from our friend the command line and the terminal window, we can sort of see, yeah, there's a few things that are nice about a graphical user interface. We can always get back to our terminal window by clicking on that button. But what I want to show you today is I want to show you how you can actually get something that's very similar to Microsoft Office, uh, but you can get a free uh, version that will do most of the things that Office will do for the Raspberry Pi. How do we get it? We come. To, it's called Libre, Library Office, and so we come to the terminal window, and we go sudo, and then we go apt get install, and then we go. If I spell this right, L I B R E O F F I C E, like that. Boom. Looks like it's reading it. It's probably going to take. And it says, "Do you want to continue?" Yeah, I want to install it. I wouldn't have asked it for it. I didn't want to install it, but it's it's like 300 megabytes, so it's going to take a little while. So just click yes, and then go get yourself a cup of coffee, and then we will start again. We are back, and hopefully you uh, all installed. It took uh, took about 15 or 20 minutes here for it to get installed, but it's a pretty big package, right? It's got it's got quite a bit of stuff in there. So so you can see here that everything looked like it went well, and now we can close our terminal window. And if we did this right, if we look under menu, we should see something that says Office. We come down to Office, and look, we have Office Base, okay, manages databases. Calc, which is like a spreadsheet. Draw, which uh, lets you edit drawing, flow charts, logos, and so you can kind of draw things with it. I don't even know if, uh, if Microsoft Office has an equivalent of that. We have Impress, Create and Edit Presentation, so that would be like your PowerPoint. And then uh, Library Office Writer would be like a word processor. So let's just kind of click around on some of these and see what we got. When I open this up, this is the word processor. Let's just sort of kind of get a, uh, a quick look at the look and feel of it. It's a little bit slower, probably the first time you open it. After this, I think it gets a little bit, a little bit quicker to, a little bit quicker to open. But uh, look at this. This looks very familiar. So this is my document, and I come in and I can select over it, and I can center it, and I can make it uh, larger and I can make it bold. Look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to go back. I like to do that. Uh, can I make a bulleted list? Let's see. Or if one of these is it. Indent, indent. Oh, look at this. Yes, I have a bulleted list. Okay. And you can see this needs to be run a little bit bigger. You're getting a little uh, a little aliasing on the on the the thing because I'm I'm uh, running uh, running it remotely. But you can see that looks really good. I am impressed with this. I am very happy with the features. It looks like I can do all the things that I'm familiar with. I can format. I can insert. I can view. So this is very uh, very familiar to those of you who have used Office products. And so let's close that. Discard. Okay, let's come in and let's look at uh, let's look at calc because I think a lot of times we need to use spreadsheets. Let's see what what this looks like. It's a spreadsheet. Wow. Okay, again, looks very familiar. Let's say I come up here. I wonder. If, yeah, I can zoom in. Look at that. That's what I want to do. Get that bigger. Okay. So let's say these are my grades. Okay. I'm going to make a hundred, and then I made a hundred, and then I made a hundred, and then and I made 95, and I made 97. So I had some good grades. And then let's say I can put here, let's see if it recognizes like the equal sign equal. Yeah, sum. Okay, so I bet I can do a sum of my grades. Here, I'm sorry, let's see, sum. And then put it there and see if I can just drag and drop on that. Look at how easy that is. Boom. And I can put here total. Okay, then I can put here average. 
or if it has an average function equals a v average yes look at that it's gonna a v e r a g e that's a help i guess and then we come down i uh, didn't want to do that let's see come down like that and then close it boom uh, let's see i probably came down too far let's do an average redo that down to there boom my average is a 98.4 so this looks like a pretty full featured uh, spreadsheet let's see if I can do some uh, I mean yeah I can do bolds I can I can uh, change the color I can uh, let's see font colors I can change the font colors okay so this is really a this is really a full featured uh, full featured spreadsheet and the price is right okay so let's close that discard let's take one more look I'm not much of a database guy so I don't want to look at the database but let's look at impress this looks like kind of a, a PowerPoint equivalent yeah look at that my raspberry pie lessons okay so it looks like everything looks very familiar it looks like we I mean $35 for a Raspberry Pi and find an old monitor somewhere and you can do in just about anything that you can do on a full-blown desktop computer which makes me start start wondering why do I need a full-blown desktop computer why do I need to keep going back in thousands of dollars after thousands of dollars every year buying a new one okay let's look here I don't know what this first one is let's just see if that does anything uh, Oh, okay. This just gives you a, a selection of things that you could go uh, you could go into. I wonder what this formula does. Maybe that lets you uh, ah, it's a formula editor. That's actually very very useful. If you've ever tried to kind of do math in a word processor, it's pretty uh, it's pretty poor. So it looks like it's got a nice formula editor. So I will say thumbs up on this. This is a great free product. So. The kind of things like I want to get just the minimum stuff that I need, not a lot of junk on the Raspberry Pi, but what I want is I want a good browser, so I showed you in the last lesson how to install Chrome, and then I want something where I can do some word processing and some spreadsheets. I've got the LibreOffice on there now, and so probably in the next lesson we'll just show you a couple more a couple more tricks to make this run a little bit, you know, run, run real smooth and easy. Okay, Paul McWhorter talk techboy.com. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Think about sharing the video. Subscribe to the channel. We will talk to you guys.